Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be taking you through amino acids, dipeptides and polypeptides for your A-level biology. Now there were lots of complicated drawings and names and links and facts that you need to remember in this. So to help you with that over my website there are loads of multiple choice questions just waiting for you. Amino acids are the small monomers that can polymerize to form proteins. When amino acids polymerize, the polypeptide chain, the polymer, that is the protein chain. It is important that you recognize and can easily draw the basic structure of amino acids with a central carbon leading up to an R group, which can be anything, over to the right, generally, a carbon double bonded to an oxygen, bonded to an OH group, down below a hydrogen, and on the left hand side, a nitrogen bonded to two further hydrogens. The NH2 group over on the left is the amino group, part of the ways and it's called an amino acid. The R group at the top is variable. This is different between every amino acid. And we'll look at more of those in a second. And then the group on the right hand side, the carbon double bonded to an oxygen, bonded to an oxygen, bonded to a hydrogen, is the carboxylic acid group, the acid parts of the amino acid name. There are 20 common different amino acids, and the only variability between them is in that R group. The R group gives them their properties. R groups can be variable based on size, based on charge, and what type of bonds they form. Here are the 20 common amino acids. You can see the basic structure up here, and this bit, the bit that is colored in, is going to represent all of the different R groups. The different amino acids can be classified based on the properties that the R group gives them. We have some aliphatic amino acids. Amino acids that are going to be acidic in their properties. Amino acids where the properties are going to be based more on the amide group. Amino acids that have a benzene ring included in them are going to have properties of aromatics. The few here that you can see labelled with a positive charge are going to be the basic amino acids, ones that have properties of bases. R groups that contain sulphur are going to lead to bonding such as sulphide bridges. And then the last two are going to have hydroxylic properties. You don't need to remember the specifics of these, but you need to be aware of the different types and the variability of amino acids that there are. While showing you the properties in 2D is good, I'm a big fan of 3D. So I'm going to show you quickly all of the amino acids briefly with molecules. This pink bit here is going to represent the R group, the nitrogen and the hydrogens, the amino group. And this bit over here is the acidic group. What I want you to pay attention to, partly, is the change in size of the amino acids and the R group. As we go through all of the different amino acids, some of them are very small, some of them are very large, and the larger ones are obviously going to take up more space and need more things to fit in around them compared to the much smaller amino acids. Between two amino acids, we are going to get a peptide bond formed. Here we have our two amino acids with an RR group and an R-R group. In between the carboxylic acid group of one and the amino group of the other, we are going to get a peptide bond formed. Water is going to be lost in this, making it a condensation reaction. The peptide bond will then form between the carbon of one and the nitrogen of the other. And that bond there is the peptide bond. 
This reaction is reversible by hydrolysis, hydro water lysis break, and you will get two amino acids back out. Two amino acids together will make a dipeptide. A chain of lots of amino acids is going to be a polypeptide. This is the polymer to the monomer that is the amino acid. They are all going to be joined together by peptide bonds. The polypeptide chain is the primary structure of any protein and can be made up from any combination of amino acids in any order. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have had explained scratches. <laughs>